Today my German boyfriend is gonna try every Mexican taco. The Majestic Taco. Delicious and iconic, tacos are part of the cultural and gastronomic diversity of Mexico. It is believed that it was born more than 1,500 years ago as the basis of the indigenous Olmec diet. We just got our first five tacos and now we're gonna be off to the next stand. It's 9.30, let's see how long it takes until we're finally home and can eat. We got three more tacos and now we're gonna go to our last taqueria. Nowadays, people all around the world enjoy them. And there is pretty much an infinite amount of recipes to prepare a taco. We got six more tacos. And I have no idea how I'm gonna finish all of those. <laughs> Man, it really does smell amazing. Just is the whole time like this. My mouth is watering so much. <laughs> It's like torture. Yeah, now I'm hungry. Let's go. We are here with 15 different tacos. I'm so excited. When Jenny was finally done recording the tacos, it was already midnight and I was super hungry. So Sorry. I tried to redirect all my anger into a poem. Oh my god, okay. Oh taco, que con tu olor enamoras. Te necesito porque no he comido en horas. Oh taco, tienes mi corazón entero. No importa si eres de arrachera, de pastor o de suadero. Oh taco, que me salvas cuando salgo del antro. Ya te quiero comer con mucha cebolla y cilantro. Oh, nice! Do you like it? When did you become such a good <laughs> poetic person? Pretty yeah, proud it was of cool. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice. You're about to embark on like the most Mexican experience ever. The taco is part of our culture. It's part of our veins. You know, it's like it's in your blood. It's in our blood. Like I could even cry. Man, when I was in Germany, I missed tacos so much. <laughs> I'm gonna cry because of tacos. <laughs> because <laughs> of tacos, dude. Okay, I'm ready to eat. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. This is machitos. Be careful with the sauces because we have no idea which one is spicy. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Which one was spicy? This one? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's spicy, dude. You're putting everything there without. Of course. And the cilantro? No, definitely not, dude. I'm just gonna take a little bit of lemon and that's it. Prost. Pause. Mmm. <laughs> I like it. Yeah? So far, uh huh. It's a more known type of taco mm -hmm. in the north of Mexico, and it's similar to tripas, oh, really? in which is the intestine of. <laughs> it tastes good, yeah, intestine. but you shouldn't have told me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna rate every taco that I try right after I ate it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with a solid seven mm -hmm. because there has to be room for more. For growth, yeah. Yeah, and there has to be a lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is pollo. Something that I'm used to, something that I know I like. I'm gonna try one bite without anything. Oh. Mm. Pollo. <laughs> oh my god. There's no taco without lemon, in my opinion. Pollo, I give it a seven, dude. <laughs> also a seven. I'm gonna wake up the neighbor. Yesterday, I asked you guys on Instagram, what's your favorite type of taco? And Pastor was the one that came up the most. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's the most disgusting thing ever. How can I describe it? Heaven? It tastes, it ta <laughs> oh Heaven? my god, no. Mm, with piña, I'm gonna give it a nine. To pastor? I'm shocked. You always said, I don't like pastor that much. And you always order a bistec. Next up is chorizo. I know that one from Germany. Do you like chorizo? Uh, maso. It's like a big sausage. I know you like big sausages. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's good? It feels too unhealthy. <laughs> it is very unhealthy. That's yeah. why. That's the only thing I don't like. I'm gonna give chorizo a solid five. Solid. <laughs> solid. Solid. Solid three. <laughs> solid one. <laughs> Guys, have you ever had a food coma? 
Well, that's what I felt after only four tacos. Guys, I'm so tired now. <laughs> Next up on our list is Cecina, and I know that's Joss's favorite dish basically in Mexico. Ah, it's so lemony and so salt. Well, sometimes salty. too salty. Okay. And I'm getting full. I hate myself. You're gonna finish this one anyways. Can I, I know have it the already. Green salsa? Mm, Cecina. Freaking good, huh? Yeah, but you know it's Cecina, so. <laughs> Cecina for the win, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna give Cecina a six. <laughs> You're so disappointed. I give Cecina a 9. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Why? I usually order literally two tacos when I go out. Can you finish it? Uh, <laughs> you didn't even notice? I finished the Cecina taco. This is barbacoa. We both don't know what it is. I know what it is supposed to be. It has mm. a very distinct flavor. Actually, it tastes something that I could also eat or find in Germany. Mm -hmm. Come on, machen. Muss man aber nicht. And sometimes, if you have one bite too much of barbacoa, I feel like throwing up. Barbacoa is getting a five. Interesting. I would also give it a six. Because it's, it's pretty ecky. By the way, guys, don't worry. We're drinking water because we're fitness. <laughs> My meat consumption was never higher. <laughs> So the next taco is the bistec. And it's from a friend of yours. Yes, a friend of mine has a taqueria, well, her, her family, and it's called Tacos Martin. Bistec is basically steak? Beef steak. Beef steak? Dude. <laughs> oh God. Steak. I feel like I'm drunk on tacos. <laughs> Can I say something? Bistec has never been my favorite taco. And it's everybody's favorite here. By the way, we're not wasting anything. <laughs> All of this. <laughs> We're gonna give to just parents. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you slowly see my energy going down, it's because I'm getting del mal del puerco or del perro. Del puerco. Del... So this is basically the same as before. It's bistec, but this time with maggi. I know a lot of you may be like, what the heck are they doing? In this taco place, they season the meat with maggi. And it's so freaking delicious. I didn't give points to the last one. Oh. So bistec, I give it seven points. Okay. And this one. You don't like it, no. Don't break my heart. Eight points. There's only one reason why I didn't reach the pastor. Mm -hmm. Because of the piña. The piña was so nice, dude. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm so full. I'm like, I'm so full. <laughs> Guys, it's now half past midnight. I probably won't be able to sleep for the next four hours. And I slept five hours last night. <laughs> so I'm very exhausted. Now this is Hawaiiano, and I'm super excited for this one because it has piña. I'm not getting anything. I thought you should try it. I don't know how, but let, <laughs> let me try it. Let me speak. Why do oh. you have a, a loaf oh. and I don't have any? It already tastes amazing. I don't have. How can I eat this? <laughs> Just eat it with a spoon. A taco with a spoon, dude. I cannot do that to <laughs> yes, my country. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> Just like I thought. I have to fart. <laughs> You're so dumb. Easily my number one, 10 points. It's fresh, it's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit spicy, hot. Just like me. Oh. Now we have four left. We're gonna keep going with those. Yeah. We can do this. I don't know what's the difference between arachera and bistec. Can you tell me? Experience it for yourself. <laughs> no. Why should I spoil it? For you? Yeah, sure. Arachera is the always trusty. Trusty? Arachera, no. <laughs> <laughs> arachera is the. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. <laughs> no, I always order arachera when I don't know what to order, so good option. <laughs> mm. Oh, I got goosebumps. I don't know why. I Man. saw you and I got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm Man. sweating. I can. I, I'm about to fart <laughs> <laughs> live on camera. <laughs> why are we drunk, dude? We're drinking water. I swear. This is tacos. So tacos. Bring your Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? They bring your Mexican side. 
So that's what the Mexican side looks like. Dude, we are. I feel like we're high. <laughs> we, yeah, we're, we're high, high on tacos. We're dude. high on tacos. Oh man, the neighbors, dude. Oh my god. Okay, now listen. I'm gonna give it. <laughs> are you trying to be so silent? <laughs> An eleven. Really? More than the Hawaiian? Arachera. So this is chuleta. I think it's the thing that Joss doesn't like. I hate it. And I also think that it's the same as Kassler in Germany. Close. Chuleta? But just have a, have a small bite because... Okay, Chuleta? <laughs> <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, shut up and let me eat. <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna get food poisoning? If we don't get food poisoning after this video, it will be a Amazing. miracle. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna give Chuleta. Six point five. Now the second to last. These are very known in Mexico City, I think. You can find them in every corner. I'm sorry, just eat. <laughs> what? Because I saw you like this. <laughs> Joss's dog fell asleep right in front of us. So I'm gonna give whatever the name was, I forgot. A 7.5. <laughs> cool. So, the last taco for tonight. Taco rojo. These ones are filled with cheese because it's the most known. common one. Yeah, it's the most common one in my city at least. I freaking love them. Ready for me to try it? Yes, I'm are actually ready? ready. You've never tried it, right? No. I hope it's not too hot. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Right now it only tastes like salad. <laughs> That's an interesting one because it tastes completely different to all the other ones. For the first time, I had something else in my mouth. Yeah. That's what she said. I'm gonna give it. My heart is beating fast. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna give it a. Let me try again. Oh. <laughs> I won't give it an 11. To a taco rojo? Yeah. I could cry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm so happy. I wish I could decide which one is better. Taco rojo or... You don't arachera. have to. You don't have to. Tomorrow morning we're gonna have breakfast. Uh huh. And the breakfast will be... Tacos de canasta. I think you're gonna be pretty impressed because it's a different type. I hope. I'm, I'm gonna be able to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Probably we're gonna have breakfast at like 1 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's the next day. We're in the car and we're on our way to the restaurant where I'm gonna have my last taco. Taco de canasta. <laughs> Joss is excited. I'm hungry again. Because it's already 1.20 p.m. Surprisingly, I feel pretty good. Me too. My belly is doing great. I feel alive again. Good morning! We are here on the street. <laughs> We're going to a taco stand where they sell tacos de canasta. We eat these mostly in the morning and they sell out pretty quickly. So hopefully we woke up early enough. Tacos de canasta. So these are my tacos de canasta. I ordered four different ones. Bistec, huevo rojo, pastor, and papas. A little bit spicy. Mm. You put a little sauce there. <laughs> I've tried these before, so it's nothing new for me. <laughs> Ow. So here are my final thoughts. Are you ready? Yes. Tacos de Canasta did not beat the other one. Uh, Tacos de Canasta get nine points. Nine? Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I take it. But Arachera and Tacos Rojos were still better. Yeah, I'm happy you like the tacos. I'm happy. Did you enjoy the experience? Man, I had fun. It was such a cool experience to try all the tacos at once. Do you feel like you got Mexicanized? I'm already Mexicanized. What? Mexicanized? Uh, Mexicanized. We're gonna put the final ranking here. So you can see what Yannick thought about everything. And we hope you liked this video. If, if you, you did, give us thumbs up. <laughs> subscribe to our channel if you're not already. I <laughs> will see you next week. Adios muchachos. Cheers. Ow. <laughs>